too late now, you've gone too far. You can't go, there's no going back. Morning everyone. Okay, so we're getting near the end, which is really exciting. What has arrived and what have I done? So in the last few days, I have hoovered the van out completely, giving it a really good clean, got in all the cracks and crevices. Our form for our bed has arrived. Just waiting on the fabric to come and that should come in the next day or two then I'll get that covered then on the front here um, I've put some of the 5 mil ply that we had left and really luckily the little strip where I had to join them together I had one last piece of the edging that I used around the window and it's literally fit like a glove couldn't have asked anything better of that it was just sitting there in the shed, last piece. So I've got that all glued and screwed and that's just going off now. Um, everywhere has been varnished with at least one coat, except for the top. I'm just still, I want something really hard um, for the top. I don't know. Um, if you have any ideas, please let me know something that's food worthy um, and will hopefully stop little scratches and stuff. A couple of nice things have also started to arrive because our van, our other van, is out on the land in Portugal. We don't have a kettle or a cooker so I've got a new little kettle that just arrived. It's just a one litre one. It's cost five pound. You can't really argue with that and our water container so it's got a big filler on the top and then it's got the tap on the bottom let's just turn you that way so you can see um, we haven't got a sink we haven't got um, taps and big things in the van because we just like to use the little ones I don't I've only got a small amount of workspace it's just about a meter and a half so I don't want to fill it up with sinks who wants to do washing up when they're on holiday and we have got our pull-out shelf and I'm just gonna get probably a blue as you can see the theme um, washing up ball and that'll just get hidden away when it's not in use and then wash up outside um, little IKEA unit here. So I varnished this one. Um, just useful. Lots of little drawers, bigger drawers, and big draw. So that'll hold things like cutlery bits and bobs, all kinds of stuff that you don't want rolling around. So that's all tucked in there, out the way at the moment. Darren has got one light left to fit and that's going to go up here near the door. So as soon as we open the door, we can just flick the switch on. Um, little fridge is in place. That's all wired. And I also made just a little cover to cover up because he thinks it's great having all those wires just hanging around in a cupboard. Ridiculous. So I've made this. It's just going to fit inside the cupboard. It's got some little legs so that'll sit here and on the other side it'll just keep all these wires tucked in and out of the way from the fuse box and uh, stop pans and the kettle and stuff from falling on it when we're driving. Um, other than that I can't think that I've done anything else so yep just got some fairy lights at B&Q at the clearance two pounds They'll give a little glow. I think I'll hang them along here. 
just above the kitchen, perhaps on a night when we're just chilling out. We also found a little kiddies t-shirt in the charity shop. Um, if you can see that, yeah. So what I've done is I've folded up a section inside and sewn it up. Then I've sewn up the arms and I'm going to get a little coat hanger to go in there and that's going to be my peg bag with a piece of washing line for when we're out and about to get bits of pants and socks and t-shirts all cleaned up and dry. Other than that, everything else is almost done. I've even hoovered out the cab. We've got the carpet down in here to make it nice and snuggly, even though Max thinks it's snuggly anyway. You alright, darling? Um, the seats in here are in fairly good condition. They're a bit sort of worn and grubby in places, sort of round the back. So out come all of our little extra blankets um, that we use for picnics and stuff, just to cover them up, make it look a bit tidier. Um, and then there's loads of storage in this cab. So we've got all our obligatory things, our high-vis vest, our alcohols for driving through France. What else? Oh, bits and bobs that came off something in the other van. I don't know why we brought them all the way home. Because we're just going to have to take them all the way back to Portugal. Then there's two of these big deep um, holders. A cup holder on each side. A little bit for screws, because you never know, you might always need some screws. Deep into there. Can't see. Oh, Just decent storage in there. And one over on the driver's side. And then a cool flip up to keep your cups. Oh, that's filthy. That needs a good clean. Missed that one. Um, <clears throat> and Max just can't wait so we're ready to go in March oh, can't wait so we we just got the car insured the van we just got the van insured yesterday uh, about lunchtime wasn't yeah. it and we got it taxed um, about lunchtime yesterday because it's been off the road sawn, sawned. Um, so we took it out today and within the first mile of leaving the house, the first mile or mile and a half of leaving the house, we got pulled over by the police. Um, and yeah, they pulled us over and uh, and they said, this is, they, they, they picked it up on one of their cameras. They said that we've got onboard cameras and onboard computers which automatically find you. And uh, and it says automatically that uh, we didn't have insurance on the van, um, which was which was pretty amazing in itself. However, we pulled up and, and we do have insurance, but we're, we, we're, we're luckily carrying our documents. So uh, we gave him a copy of that and, and everything was fine. But literally within the first drive out ever <laughs> of one mile of one mile away from our house, pulled over by the police. Uh, good start. However, <laughs> they were mind. very nice about oh, it. Oh, absolutely. No, they were. They weren't. They really yeah. nice about it. Actually, really yeah. nice. Um, very, very pleasant. Uh, just obviously just doing their jobs but yeah I couldn't believe it within one mile anyway so uh, we just, uh, we're out yeah um, we're in the park at the minute with Max Can hear making a noise hear Max he wants to go for a walk <laughs> so uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit can you stop <laughs> can you stop hey dear Max just looking at all the dogs in the park. Mm -hmm. My God, can you hear him? Mm -hmm. yeah, what's he like? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Max, what are you like? Just want to go and eat them all. <laughs> Let's go and chase them all. Hmm. Still windy here though, and you can hear the wind. I'm not going out there in the wind. <laughs> just take photos from in here actually. <laughs> well maybe I should go out and get a bit of a because this is the first nice weather we've had isn't it for even though it's really windy. Dry and bright yeah. I need to help <coughs> get out a little bit of a I won't be able to talk though I'll have to put some music over it. I'll go and do that. <laughs> Too windy today. I'm standing out here. Uh, here Eventful day today, um, <laughs> uh, but it's been a nice day. We've been able to get the van out um, for a bit of a run, um, which uh, something I've wanted to be doing for quite a long time actually to actually get it out, see how it drives. The only time I've uh, driven it is uh, obviously just bringing it back home, and it's been parked in the uh, back garden for. Eight weeks, I think we've had it now, eight or nine weeks. So it's really nice to get it insured, taxed and out and about on the road. Uh, we went down to um, to our local um, camping store, picked up a camping gas uh, 907 container. Uh, that's, so that was a, a reason to go out. So that's good. We're all, we've are all got all of our gas um, for our cooking facility now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're back now and I'll just show you quickly where we've been because Elaine's been doing a little bit of work on the van in the week. I know she's uh, um, shown you all the bits throughout the week, but I'll, uh, I'll just have a quick run through. So this is where we are at the moment uh, with the van. It's pretty much nearly there now. We've got um, our baskets up the top here. Uh, we've got some nice little lights for an evening uh, just running across the, the bulkhead end. We've picked up a few bits and pieces, like a little bowl, you know, a little bowl to do our washing up in. So a camping gas regulator and a little cupboard that we've picked up. Uh, got our electrics down there, pretty much uh, ready wired in near enough. Uh, fridge just down that end. And as I said, yeah, it's our camping gas. Um, we we'll do a proper, a proper little tour once we're finished. All the lights are now wired in. Uh, just need a little bit tidying up as well, but the lights are wired in. Uh, cabinets, cabinets are all sorted too. So what Elaine will be doing in the week is getting these, uh, getting these uh, cushions. What do you call them? These foam, <laughs> seating foam. She'll be getting these covered. Got the material already, uh, and that'll be it uh, for that. That'll be all sorted covering over the window so that's where we are really we're pretty much pretty much nearly done now of course um, I don't suppose a van is ever really fully finished uh, but Elaine's been been busy this week getting it sorted so I'm excited we're gonna be away in a couple of weeks time we're off to Portugal I think in about two or three weeks time 
Um, so, uh, so yeah, that'll be our our big journey in this van that we're looking forward to to doing. So what we'll do for today is we're giving you a little bit of a, a rundown of uh, how our day has been, our first day out in the van. Um, and uh, what we'll do is we'll catch up with you again next week. So thanks very much for joining us again. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you've liked the video. And subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. And uh, we'll catch you again shortly. Um, thank you very much. Take care, everyone. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.